a heavyweight title fight for the ages between Bruce Lee and Clay Guida. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 17 losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Clay the Carpenter Weena! And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialist, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. The one-two punch is true. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just there. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this penalty. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking the shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Green. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Under a minute now to go. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Folks, you see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Try to get this fight to the ground. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, what a punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind him. Guida going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Liver kick. You take those kicks, you got to shut your body off. That was he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Single collar tie. Quick entry to get Man, in on a that single. Was a great single. Oh, oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Under two minutes now to go. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. 
Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Queen is lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Guida. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Close guard. Seconds winding down in round two. And he landed the right hand there. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big punch land. Boom. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. And now he's got the tie clinch. Boy, tie club. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at the whip action that comes from throwing that kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Guido. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Guido. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on the corner, 
chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your mind. Fight the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Straight right, he misses. Right punches there. Oh, collar tie. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Sweetest lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, single collar tie now. He lands a switch knee. Under two minutes to go in the round. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Good work from the top here by Lee. Final minute of this championship fight. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. to finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. Uh...